Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Spooktober has ended and we are starting to transition into Nickmas. So today I thought I would share with you my top Gymshark holiday gift items. Everything I'm going to show you is currently on their website and they may or may not be included in their Black Friday sale coming up in a very, very short amount of time. But before we jump into this, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and let's get on with it. I don't own every single item on their website. So there are going to be pieces and items that will be available in the Gymshark Black Friday sale that I just don't have. But everything that is currently on the website, I'm going to show you. And these are actually all of my personal favorites. So I hope you like them too. Number one on my list of current favorite items is this pink fleck. I love the colors. I love how subtle it is. For me personally, I would more so wear this in the spring, just because I feel like it's like a pastel color, you know, kind of goes with Easter and springtime. So for me to buy this, I am bleeding. I don't know what I did. I guess I cut myself. But anyway, <laughs> sorry, got distracted. Um, you know, like, but that doesn't mean that it's not a great staple item. And I know this is online right now. And because it came out earlier in this year, chances are this will be one of the items available for Black Friday. It is a crop top. There's also a sports bra, but I don't own the sports bra. And leggings. This did not come in shorts, but everything is so comfortable. And what I really like about this crop top is if I'm at the gym and I like pick my arms up, you know, like say I'm doing like lap pull downs or, you know, like whatever it may be, this doesn't ride up. So I'm not constantly in the gym, like pulling this down and adjusting it after each set. And the same thing can be said with the leggings. You know, if you're like running or panic, stop playing with my tripod, you know, like if you're like running, they're not going to slide. They're not going to roll. And I really like that. So just to point out too, I am a small in everything. So the crop is a small, the leggings are a small. The sports bra for me would be a small, you know, like everything is a size small. And I think they've really fit true to size. And I really like the flat collection. So the back is just simple. There's no design anywhere on it. You know, sometimes you'll see like some of the items I have coming up, they'll have like a lace back or like a little keyhole. Um, you know, just like some kind of like characteristic, but this is just straight material. So this is the crop. The leggings are just normal. So, you know, like I said, everything is true to size. They really emphasize your butt, which I like. Yeah, you know, it's always like a key feature that I am never opposed to, especially because I love glute days and just the fact that I even have a beauty. Like I love things that really emphasize it now. So, yeah, this is the fleck. <laughs> okay, moving on, we have the new ombre. Now, I just want to point out that I'm not actually going to be wearing every item in every color. I'm just going to put, you know, top, bottom on for once I have multiple items. And then I'll just kind of like show you, you know, the rest of the set rather than just sit here and just like go through every little thing. So this is the new ombre, well, newer ombre. It came out in, I believe, summer. But I love the pattern of this. And the back of it is just a normal racerback sports bra. There's nothing fancy about this one, which, you know, I personally think it could have used a little bit more characteristic, but I like the simplicity of it at the same time. Now, I am wearing, again, let me angle you down. I just put the shorts on rather than the leggings for this. Now, this is what the shorts look like normal length. For me personally, I don't really care for like longer shorts. Like I don't like shorts that go down basically to my knee or even like below my mid calf. So every time I wear shorts, you know, I'm always like bunching them up, which this is just a preference for me because you know, some of you who may be new to my channel, I have a gymnastics background. So 
my entire life I basically just lived in like booty shorts and Leos. So just for me, it's not so much like an aesthetic thing, which is why I do this, but more so what I'm comfortable with just because it's what I'm used to. So this is just more of a personal, but I really like that you are able to do this with these shorts. You know, I think that being able to have them kind of fit to what you want and not just be a specific way is fantastic. And all of Gymshark shorts are the same way. I lied. Most of Gymshark shorts are the same way. Their training shorts are kind of just where they are, but um, I have a couple to show you, but their training shorts are a different material and they're just kind of like naturally like that short. So I like that. But sticking with the ombre, I also have the leggings, which is the same pattern the whole way through. So just so you can kind of like see it better you know there's like little triangles with different shades of in this case green and gray okay so we also have the crop top which is the same way it is just a normal crop top identical to what the fleck was as far as the look goes however this material doesn't really like completely stick to you so if you are doing a gym workout where you're doing back or you know anything that you're going to be like lifting your arms up it is going to come up a little bit so i do recommend wearing a sports bra you know, I would always wear the ombre sports bra, sports bra to match the ombre crop top. But again, that's just me. I like all of my items to match unless I'm purposely doing something. So this is the ombre and I am a big fan of it. It's very comfortable. It's very stretchy. Again, everything is small. The sports bra, the shorts, the leggings and the crop top are all a size small for me. So... I think they're true to size and you won't be disappointed in this one up next we have studio i have never owned anything from the studio collection prior to this and honestly what made me really want to try it was the color like this just screams nikki it's hot pink it's simple it's fun it's super super stretchy Again, small top, small bottom. I only own the sports bra and leggings from the studio collection. They also have a full on one piece and a couple other colors. I only have pink, so I only can show you the pink today, but let's talk sports bra. So I like that it's a little bit longer. So it like comes down to my ribs. It doesn't move at all, regardless of what you're doing. And what I think makes a sports bra unique is it's almost like a halter. But then if you look at the back, it's so simple and so fun. So every time I wear this, it's always for a back day just because I really like to show off my back muscles whenever I'm working them. And also these leggings are phenomenal. Like now the only thing with the leggings themselves is they don't completely come down to your ankle. They come up just a little bit. So they're like a seven eighth cut and I'm okay with it. Like, I think it just gives it some character. I think it's unique. And the only thing that I don't care too much about these ones is that, you know, they don't really like emphasize like this area that I like, but I still think they are very comfortable to work out in. I think they are a lot of fun to wear. The color is just like this bright, vibrant summertime color. And I'm just so drawn to it that I had to try it and I was not disappointed in it. The material for the studio is different than what the ombre and the fleck were. This actually has more of like a true like spandexy feel. So to me, whenever I put this on, I feel like I'm wearing a Leo again, just because of the material itself, which they are comfy. I don't know if any of you have ever had to wear one or if any of you are like former gymnasts too. But like, I just love that it sticks to you like a Leo does. It hugs you like a Leo does. The material is identical to it. So this is the studio. Moving on, we have just about everybody's favorite, the Legacy Collection. It is kind of like the OG Gymshark. So I think that's why a lot of people are drawn to it. I'm drawn to it pretty much for the same reason, just because it's so unique and so different than 
what they have available now. So I only have three items in the Legacy. So I'm going to show you all three items. I do not own the Legacy Bandeo bra. I just didn't really want another Bandeo bra just because for obvious reasons, you know, I can't really work out in them anymore. So up first we have the tee. It is just a normal t-shirt. It is a little oversized, I think in my opinion, but it could just be because I'm so used to crop tops and that's like all I wear now. So I don't necessarily think it's a true oversized. Just for me, it feels oversized. <clears throat> but I also have the Legacy shorts. So it has that same Gymshark design here on the left pocket. There is a pocket on the right side. I think these shorts are great for lounging in. I sleep in them a lot. Um, you know, if you're like going on a run on a cooler day because this is a little bit heavier of a material, it's like their joggers and sweatpants. You know, it's good for that. It's also good if you just like run, want to run errands, you know, like I love that these shorts are just like so comfy and so versatile that I think they're perfect. And the length on them for me is good. I'm a big fan of it. And I have one more item from the Legacy that I'm going to show you. So just hang tight for one second. This is their Legacy tank top. I have it in this cucumber green. I just really like the color. I liked how lightweight and just almost transparent it is. It's not completely transparent. You know, don't like freak out if that's not what you're into. I just like that it is very, very lightweight. It's great for summertime. It's great for those workouts where, you know, you're going to be sweating a lot or if you're doing an outdoor workout. It is just a normal tank top. There's nothing else really to it. It's very simple. It's very soft. It's very flowy. I just love, I love it. Like, I don't really have any other words except for the fact that I love it. Now, this sports bra that I have, okay, story time. Whenever they released this back in late spring, early summer of this year, I remember looking at the sports bra and I needed it. Like, I told Andy that I was getting this. I wasn't waiting for, like, a specific holiday or, like, an event or anything coming up in my life. I was getting the sports bra. And let me tell you, this is my absolute favorite sports bra. It is so unique. It is so fun. And I love everything about it. I like that I can wear it with just about anything that I own. It's black and white. They do have other colors. They do have like a hot pink and an orange. And I think it's like a green and a bluish color. Don't hold me to it. I don't remember the third one. But I love this. Okay, so details. This is basically a one shoulder sports bra. We have a tank top on this side and just kind of like a spaghetti strap slash halter on this side just to keep it up because, you know, we are working out still. But what I really love about this is check out the back. Look at the back of this. It is so strappy and so fun. Like just everything about this. I love the crisscross. I love the everything. I could not pass this up and I'm actually very, very pleased with it. The only thing that I personally don't like about it is it doesn't have a way for me to insert my prosthetics. So whenever I did finally get the prosthetics, I was very excited that I can get them to fit in my Gymshark sports bras. I don't have to wear a mastectomy bra with them and they fit great. However, and I know I'm like nitpicking because it's not a problem most people have, but I just really wish I could insert my prosthetics into this bra. You know, usually I don't wear them whenever I do wear it, but because I'm doing a video and I'm like trying to show you how they actually like fit in real life on women with boobs, you know, I just kind of like have them just hanging out on my chest underneath of this. But, you know, I wanted you to see what it does actually look like whenever, you know, you have all your body parts. So, 
that's my only complaint which really isn't even a complaint so much about like the material or the manufacturing of it or the product itself it's just like a personal thing with me now but you know whatever I can get past it oh and also I did forget to mention the legacy t-shirt and tank top I have are small my shorts are small and this sports bra I do have in a size small up next we have one of my personal favorites my I oh, I just love it like I've talked about this so many times I actually did a full-on Whitney Simmons review whenever I got like all of her products from her last launch that she did over the summer but this one this particular color is my favorite so this is the indigo navy I have her sports bra size small her leggings size small I do not own the shorts but I do have her cycling shorts in other colors just not currently with me. I believe they're at my parents' house because I wore them recently there. But, you know, like, they're just amazing. Now, just like with my one strapped sports bra, this particular bra does not have pad inserts either. So I can't put my prosthetics in there. They are currently, again, hanging out on my chest just so you can see what it looks like, you know, for normal people. But... I love it. So if you have any of Whitney's products from her previous last year release, the sports bra is identical. So here, let me go down so you can see. We have the bar here for her Whitney Simmons name. There's also this little twist in the front of all of her sports bras, which I just love. It's so cute, so chic. It adds character to it. Now, the back of it is just a normal razor back. There isn't anything else, you know, as far as the back goes. But this is her sports bra. So, moving on to the leggings. Again, this is Indigo Navy. Everything is a small. I love the material of these leggings. They are definitely one of my favorite materials that Gymshark has. What I really like about it is, you know, emphasize here. But they also have the butt scrunch, which, here, let me get a little bit closer so maybe you can see it. You know, they have it here, which I think is just such a fantastic touch. I am all about the butt scrunches. Now, the leggings themselves do go to your full ankle, and there's a little bit of slack here, so they kind of, like, are a little bit loose. The Whitney collection isn't super, super tight. Like, it's very stretchy. I think it is very true to size. Up next, we have... The highly anticipated and almost everybody's favorite camo. I have this in two separate colors. I'm only going to wear the black, but I will show you the other color that I do have. They are a crop top. Now I have the sports bra on underneath. So this is what the sports bra looks like. Just very simple. Just a racer back. Kind of like how the ombre was. It's almost identical to the ombre, only different colors. And leggings in black but i do have a pair of shorts to show you in the other color so let's talk crop top i think it's great it has a little scrunch in the front here it has the thumb holes which i prefer i don't know why again probably just going back on my background but i love the thumb holes in the clothes it also has a keyhole in the back which I love that it adds that extra character to it. I just think it's nice. Now, the only thing I don't like about this crop top is when you pick your arms up, it moves. It doesn't stay, so every time you do a set, if you are doing back or chest, you constantly have to pull it down. Anything that you're reaching your hands over, you can see how high it goes up. So not, not a big fan of that part. However, still very comfortable and great for core, legs, arms, cardio, anything where you're not reaching your head over, just in my opinion. Now, the leggings, I love. So they have a butt scrunch, just like the Whitney leggings did. They are all the way down to your ankles. Very flattering. I like that they emphasize the booty. It really hugs you in all the right ways. You are never going to hear me complain about any of the Adapt leggings, like, ever. Now, 
to show you the other color that I have. This is the Savannah Brown. I am a very big fan of this color. I actually wear this one more than the black one, but because I'm already showing you a burgundy color very similar to this in a different collection, I opted for the black. So this is what the Savannah color looks like. It is very beautiful, and I think it's just the perfect color for fall and winter. Now, I also have the shorts. Again, just like with the ombres, I'm not going to show you every little thing in the set. So these are the shorts. And one of the things that I like about it is on the side of them, they have like this little ruching. So it just keeps it in place, which I really like. I don't typically have to mess with these shorts. You know, they're pretty much like the length that I like them to be to begin with. So they're not as long as what the ombre was. So to me, that's just a personal win. But I love it. This is the crop top in that Savannah Brown has a keyhole in the back just like this black one does it has the thumb holes and i'm just overall a big fan of the camo i like the og camo i do have that but i'm like loving the new pattern and the new camo even more i just feel like it stands out better i think it looks better i like the feel of it better so if you were a fan of the camo and you have like a few years ago camo and you want to get this, just giving you a heads up that it does not fit or feel the way that the OG one did. Just want to let you know that now. And again, small on the tops, small on the bottoms. Everything I own is a small. So let's move on to the Power Collection. This is the Power Collection in Burgundy. Now, I will say these leggings bother me so much I love let's talk about the leggings first just because yeah <laughs> okay so here are the leggings now I own the power collection from last year when they did the marble blue gray and just like the solid gray and black I love these leggings from here down the material is just like the blue was i think it's great the length of them are perfect you know they come down to my ankles they're just a little bit shorter kind of like that seven eighths however they added this feature right here in the waistband that from here up is not the same material as the leggings it constantly rolls on you, which is why I keep playing with it because it's driving me crazy. And it almost feels like... Okay, here's the best way I can explain it to you. If you ever got a toy bin, like the character toy bins, and you have like that just like meshy like bin, and you put down that harder, almost like cardboard to keep the shape... This here reminds me of that harder cardboard to keep the shape. I'm not a fan of this part. However, I do like how flattering the leggings are and like how they emphasize everything, but I almost feel like I probably should have went with a medium in these. I don't know if it would have changed anything as far as like this part just constantly rolling on you, but I'm just, I'm not a fan of these leggings. I will tell you that right now. However, I do love this cropped hoodie. I think it's fun. I think it's great. It matches these leggings almost perfectly. I just like that it's cropped. I like that it zips. I'm all about the crop stuff. Now, not part of the power collection that I'm going to show you anyway is this sports bra. This is their training ruched sports bra. It is lightweight. I think it is great. One of the features about it that I like, aside from like this ruching that you can see here, is the back of it is crisscrossed. However, if you don't like the crisscross, you are able to take the straps off here at the bottom and just turn it into like a regular sports bra. So you don't have to have it crisscross. You can just have it go over your shoulders and call it a day. It'll just look like almost like a cropped cami. Okay, so the next two items I have for the power are similar yet different. 
So this crop top is the same as the burgundy one that I just had on. The only difference is it's this light pink and I love it. Now, before I show you the other item, these shorts were with the burgundy leggings whenever they released them. They are identical. They have the butt scrunch like the leggings do. And this material up here, let me see if you can hear it. Like, do you hear that compared to like down here? Like this almost has like a cardboard thing. You can even hear it. Like, you hear that? Like, that's weird. And it rolls constantly on me like the leggings do. So I'm not even a fan of these shorts either. Now, what I am a fan of, they just released these shorts last month. Tell me these are not the most beautiful, beautiful shorts you have ever seen. They are hot pink power shorts. And the best part, they don't have that weird, whatever you want to call it, that weird waistband. They still have the butt scrunch. It emphasizes so much and it is so amazing the length is great i did not roll these up at all you know this is the length of the shorts as you can see like i'm pulling on them if i wanted to i could make them shorter you know this is basically like where my shorts were when i did gymnastics but the length itself i'm fine with i'm comfortable with the material is all the same it's all that buttery material just like the blue ones are from last year's launch and it is just fantastic. They have a minimal bra that matches these shorts, which I don't own for obvious reasons. You know, that's not a bra that I can really get away with wearing now, but it is very low cut. Like the seam, like the V-neck would be like here on it. And it's just like so open. Like it's, I love it. I love the look of it. I feel like Five years ago, before all this craziness happened with me, I would own it, but I don't. Now they also have a one piece in this color, but they do not have leggings in it. They have leggings and shorts and sports bras in other colors. I think the green is beautiful. I just don't own it. I really just wanted this pink. So this is the power collection. The last item that I do want to show you is actually a men's item that I have for Andy that he loves. So one second. This is the Gymshark oversized t-shirt. It is a men's item. So obviously I have it for Andy. I know I don't match these shorts. Don't come at me for it. I just want to show you the shirt. So this is a medium because it is Andy size. It really isn't that big on me. I actually steal these from him all the time and I wear them like I will like tie them up in a crop but I'm not going to do that right now. It's the power shirt. It has the Gymshark logo here and then on the back it just says Gymshark across the shoulders like a jersey. It is so comfortable. It is so fun and nice to just lounge around in. He likes to wear them to the gym a lot so because it's oversized if he's doing back or shoulders chest whatever and he's like lifting his arms like it's not coming like up like a normal t-shirt would just because he doesn't really care too much for that so it's nice with that this shirt for him is true to size he typically does wear medium t-shirts and it's still oversized on him and still comfortable and just versatile for him too like he'll wear these to the gym he'll wear these if we go shopping he wears some to do work around the house you know like it's very very nice okay so first and foremost i have the training crop top and the training joggers i don't recall specifically what this color is but it's kind of like a pink like a peachy pink i love the color of it i love how comfortable it is i own a lot of the training collection just because of how comfortable everything is so the crop top is simple it just has the gymshark logo here there's nothing on the back of it it just covers you. It's just a normal training crop top. I like the sweatshirt material of it. And I think it's great, again, to lounge around in. If you want to go on like a jog at, whenever the weather's cooler, you know, it's good for that. It's good for outdoor workouts if the weather's cooler. 
And then the joggers have pockets, which is always a plus. It has a little ruching at the bottom and it does stay. It doesn't really move on you. These joggers are made a little bit bigger, not necessarily in size, like not like in the waist, but like in the length so that it does have extra slack at the bottom, which keeps it from moving. Again, small in the crop, small in the joggers. I'm a big fan of these. There really isn't anything else to say about it. They do have these strings here. So if they are a little bit bigger, you can tie them or, you know, you can loosen them up a little bit. But overall, very flattering, very, very comfortable. I'm pretty much loving these joggers from now until summer. So you won't be disappointed in these. This is my favorite thing about the training collection. So story time before I get into it. Over the spring and summer, it was right when Gymshark launched their purple, orange, and blue Vital 2.0. So I'd say it was probably like springish. They were starting to tease these shorts. If you went on their website during that launch, you could see one of their models had on these shorts just paired with a white tank top. I stalked this page every day waiting for them to release these shorts because I was in love with them already. I didn't know what collection it was going to be. I didn't know what all was going to be involved with the collection itself. I own everything in this collection. I'm just not going to sit here and show you every little item. But this is their training I don't think it ever had a name. It was just like they're training shorts and top, but I call it the training puzzle pieces because to me, that's what it reminds me of. Like, I know it's supposed to be like a camo probably, but like to me, they're puzzle pieces. So anyway, this is the crop top. It is very, very flowy. The back is just like a normal muscle shirt. So, you know, there isn't anything, you know, special really about it, but I, I, I'm so in love with it. I love it. They also, in this same pattern, have a sports bra. That's just a normal sports bra. It's just a racerback sports bra. They also have a full-length tank top. And aside from these shorts, which I think are perfect, you know, again, this is the length of them. I didn't mess with them at all. You know, they hug you in the right way. I love them. They're so fun. But they also have like running shorts in these. So the shorts on them, which I, again, they're at my parents' house. So I didn't think to bring them back. But the top of them has a no slip grip, very similar to Susie's glute bands, if you have those. So the top has that. The bottom of them are just like really flowy. Like it's almost like this. But they're comfortable too. Like I sleep in this a lot too. But this training collection, I'm just... Like, I love it. I saw pink. I saw white. I saw fun. I saw a unique pattern. And my bank account saw it too. So, I love it. I love this. Last two items for training. We have the training zip-up jacket, which I absolutely love, especially on those spring and early fall days. It's very lightweight. The material is identical to all the training items as far as the leggings, the shorts, the sports bras. It's not like their sweatshirts or their joggers. Like it's still like that same buttery soft material. This is in a small. So again, unless otherwise stated, everything I own is small. It's very simple. The back is just like a track jacket. It honestly reminds me of some of the warm up jackets that I used to wear going to meets. So I'm always a big fan of that. And the other thing that I want to show you is the training shorts. So these are typically the kind of shorts that Gymshark releases in the training collection. You know, usually they don't have as much of a design as the pink that I just had on does. But they all fit the same. So the training shorts, it doesn't matter if it's a solid color. It doesn't matter if it's a pattern color. The training shorts are the training shorts. That never changes. They're very comfortable. 
they are very very flattering i like how they emphasize everything they do not have a butt scrunch the training shorts do not have butt scrunches and again this is the length of the shorts these are their shorts they do have short shorts which i didn't see any of those on their website currently so i'm not going to show them but you have seen me wear them before especially if i'm doing like glute days like they are literal booty shorts you know like they come up they're like that basically so these are just their shorts you know i don't want you to think that they're going to be like super super short on you um the training collection is always true to size the only thing i've learned in the past is if you get the leggings like the full training leggings i suggest going up a size even whenever i was buying training products like years before pregnancy years before cancer i always had a hard time wearing their leggings they fit me like they should. Like, I'm not saying they were like super tight, but I constantly felt like I had to like pull them up. You know, it was almost like they were so small that they would just like constantly like roll down and I'm like trying to like pull them back up. So my suggestion would be if you're going to go legging route in the training collection, I would definitely just go up a size. However, everything else, their shorts, their jackets, the top the tops, the sports bras, those are all true to size. Those are always a small on me. So let's jump into my last two favorite collections and that'll be it for this video. So here we go. Okay guys, up next we have the animals. Jim Shark knows the way to my heart. They know I'm all about the animal prints. This is the reef that was just released. Oh, end of September I'd say I think it was like the end of September and I was so torn between the burgundy and the really really pretty beautiful purple I decided to opt for burgundy because I feel like it was more of a fall color and I was not disappointed so this is just like a cropped cami that they have in place of a sports bra. They don't have a sports bra in the reef. But what I like about it is the detail on the back. I love this lace. I think it is gorgeous. It really adds character to the already unique design of this tank. I have leggings in the same material. So this is a close up of what the reef looks like. Tell me that's not beautiful. There is a butt scrunch on the leggings, so that makes me very happy. Now, let's talk the shorts, because that's what I have on. These shorts are like the cycling shorts. Not really my cup of tea. So, what do I do best? I roll them up. Oops, I didn't cut the tag out of there. Voila. Now the shorts themselves have a butt scrunch too. I think it's very flattering. I am really a big fan of this. The material is so unique. Like it is so soft and so comfortable and so breathable that I never want to take this off. I think it hugs you in all the right ways. I feel like I wish it was just a little bit tighter here. Like kind of like where my hips are. But overall, I love this. I love the animals. Oh, animals. Guys, like Gymshark really does know the way to my heart. Now, Gymshark just released last week a jungle print that I have to show you. So, here it is. Here is the jungle. Tell me this isn't the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. Okay, so... The difference between the reef and the jungle. The jungle has a sports bra. It is not crisscrossed in the back like the reef was. It's just a sports bra, very similar to what their butterfly one was. They do not have shorts. 
The animal had the crop tank, the shorts, and the leggings. They also have a crop t-shirt that I didn't show you. I do own, but it's just the print in a crop t-shirt. Very lightweight. The jungle has a sports bra. It has leggings. And it also has a long sleeve crop top that I'm going to put on to show you here in just a minute. I wanted to show you the sports bra first just to show you how different it was from the reef. Now, again, everything is true to size. This is a small, leggings are small, the crop top is a small. I'm gonna go ahead and put the crop top on. We'll talk about that and then I will show you the leggings. Okay, you beautiful, beautiful people. This is the crop top in the jungle. It does not have the thumb holes which is okay. You know, it's not like I prefer that on all my crop tops. It does not stay in place if you lift your arms up. So it's going to ride with you. My favorite feature about this, they put lace on the back of the crop top. Guys, Gymshark is paying attention to the back of their items now. Do you know how exciting this is? Like, oh, I love this. Okay, one thing I don't like about the sports bra that I'm going to be absolutely open about is there's no like separation like in the middle for like where the pads would go. So every time I move, I can feel my prosthetics just like coming to the middle, which is like super awkward. So I will not be wearing this with prosthetics going to the gym or anything else. That's the only complaint I have, which really isn't a complaint because again, not everybody's problem. So these leggings, they have the butt scrunch. They have a tight, um, like a tighter ankle grip. They don't move. They don't roll. They are perfect in every way. And this pattern is to die for. Like, look at this. Look how beautiful this is. Do you guys understand? Like, oh, I love this. Now they do have it in different colors. They had a purple and they also had a green. I opted for the blue just because I feel like blue is one of my colors more so than like the purple or the green or most definitely the green. But this is their new animals and I'm just, oh, it's beautiful. So beautiful. Okay, so we have one more collection to show you. There are so many pieces and so many colors. I am only going to put on a top and a bottom and I will just show you the rest. So we are going to move on to the Vital Seamless. Okay, up last is all of the Vital Seamless. These are my personal favorites. Of course, I had to put on my favorite color out of it, which is a sorbet pink. It's beautiful. It's a bubblegum pink and I felt like Barbie wearing this. Now, before I jump into all of this, I want to go ahead and show you the colors that are available. So they have this pink. We also have it in purple. This Tahoe blue. Lime green and Moonstone. Every single one of these fit the same. Every single one of these is identical in quality and feel and product. Oops. They all come with, well, they don't come with, but they have, they all have a crop shirt, leggings, shorts, and a sports bra. I am not wearing the sports bra. I just put the training one back on since that's what I'm going to be wearing for the day. I wanted to wear the crop one just because I, really like it but I will show you the sports okay so the sports bra it is just a normal racer rack bra it has the little like design which is really hard to see on this one but you can see a little triangle there like where the bottom of your boobs would be and I love it it's very comfortable it is very lightweight it's light support, so just to give you a little bit of a heads up. Now, some of you are always wondering if it's true that the Vital Seamless 2.0 
has a smaller fit than the original. So to show you guys, this is the original Vital Seamless that I got. This was the first pair that I got from Gymshark, oh, years ago. I remember how long it's been, but this is the original. It's not stretched out. I rotate through my Gymshark stuff all the time. So this is exactly how it was whenever it arrived at my house. The 2.0, I brought out the purple ones just to show you. This is the 2.0, exactly how it was whenever it arrived at my house. I haven't worn this one all that much yet just because I've been wearing all my other stuff currently. You know, I feel like this is more of a spring color. So just to show you the original, I am lining up just so you can see that I'm not trying to like trick you ins. These are lined up at the ends. There you have it. The original Vital Seamless does fit bigger. Now, just so you can kind of see, I'm not trying to keep these all lined up. So again, I'm at the end, everything's here at the end, and there's that much difference. So I'm here to tell you that that rumor that's been going around, you know, about them being smaller is true. With that being said, my original Vital Seamless is a size small in everything. My new Vital Seamless, the 2.0, is a size small in everything. I still think it fits me good. I still think it hugs me in all the right, right ways. It's still very stretchy. So like, as you can see, I mean, like there is still some slack here, not a lot in the leggings, but there is some. My suggestion for these would be if you don't like a super tight fit to size up. So if you're originally a size small, I would get a size medium. If they just happen to be like way too big, then you can always return them to get the size small. Now, every crop top has the thumb holes. Every crop top is identical. Everything with the vital seamless is identical except for the colors. So you have the crop and then the back is just the normal crop. The leggings do not have a butt scrunch. There is none, but they are still super flattering. They still kind of like hug you in all the right ways and they really emphasize that booty. So this is what the vital is. They do have shorts and again, they come in every color. Now, some of the colors, not all of the colors actually have a full shirt. So it's identical to the crop, except it's full length. It does have the thumb holes and it's just plain with the color on it, just like this is. So that's everything I have to show you guys. I really hope that this Gymshark Guide to Black Friday was very helpful for you. Again, these are all of my personal favorites that are currently available on the Gymshark website. And that's going to be it for this video. So like always, Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on social media, and as always, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day.